Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and today I am working in my Dilusions journal. Bought it a long time ago, and I hardly ever use it. And I've decided to use it for my uh, Dina Wakely um, prompts. I follow her Facebook group, and she has a couple of challenges each month. And this one is the Show Us Your Media. Um, I My goal last year was to do every month... Um, I'm hoping I will do better this year and get them in each month. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Depending on how the year goes, I'm not committing myself to any resolutions this year. I'm going to have goals. They may or may not be accomplished. <laughs> so I am using all Dina Wakely products except for the pen. And um, her Show Us Your Media Challenge, this... Um, this time is say yes and there's she has a quote from Tina Fey that's say yes and you'll figure it out afterwards <laughs> you know people always worry about oh you know if, if I say yes to this how am I gonna accomplish it whatever you know so I guess my saying yes here is to finger painting I really do not like the results of my finger painting I have watched people paint with their fingers and it looks so cool and maybe it's just because I've got chubby stubby little fingers I don't know <laughs> um, but I, I find it very messy <laughs> I guess is the word so I just sketched some flowers on here and now I'm filling the petals with um, I think it's pink and fuchsia and I can't remember the name of the blue, but they're the Dina, Wake Dina Wakely tube paints. And you can see there I got them on clearance at Hobby Lobby. That's where I got most of my supplies was clearance, which is nice. So I'm not bothering to clean my fingers, or one finger, the one finger I'm using <laughs> at this point, so I... I'm getting a little bit of a brownish mucky color, but um, yeah, I'm just going for it anyway. I like I like the fact that it's uneven and kind of mixed in the background. It makes it a little bit more interesting. So here I'm touching up the flower petals a little bit. Um, so I left a bit of a white gap, so I was trying to fill that in just a little bit. 
And then I wanted more in the background, so I do this. And yeah, I don't like that at all. <laughs> so I get a damp cloth. And it's just a damp paper towel and wipe. And of course, the flowers are still a little damp. But we get it off for the most part. Can't even tell, right? <laughs> so now I've pulled out some of her orange. It's called Cheddar. And we're making centers to our flowers. There we go. So now that it's dry, I, I think it's boring. And so <laughs> I pulled out her stencil. I believe it's a stencil of hers. Mm, it could be Diane Reevely stencil now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. And I'm just using it to create more interest in the background. I'm using the yellow and it shows up a little bit. It's very subtle though. I decided to go with a different shape on this side, just kind of the brick shape. And now I'm going to work on the top half. And I decided I'd use green over green and just do these circle dots. And they're really hard to see too. In fact, once they're dry, I don't even know if... I can't even remember if I even can tell they were there. <laughs> I had thought about going over them with white, like stenciling over the whole thing with white. But I went for tone on tone, I guess is the term. Now this one is definitely a Dean... Dina Weekly stencil came in one of her sample mixed media kits. And now we've got centers on the flowers, or interest in the centers. So, because I don't like my finger painting, I am going over all the lines, well, what would be lines. With this is a Uniball Air pen, and it is water soluble, so if I got it wet, it would smear. But it works great on paint. I really like how it looks. And I'm doing a double, kind of double, triple, drawing a line around there, so it still has the scribbly effect, which goes with the crazy finger painting. I think I got a chunk of wet paint there I had to clean off my pen. This little spot was not dry. And there we go. And now I had to come up with a quote. And I just decided to just put, yes, you can. <laughs> you can do anything if you try. Okay, it may look like a childish picture, but you can do it still. <laughs> I'm still not happy with my page, so I decided to pull out some white and I believe a sea sponge, yep, sea sponge, and we're just going to put a little white around the edges. Just to kind of frame it. And then I'm going to go in and darken the words just so they stand out a little bit better. I'm using the same pen, I'm just filling in spaces. Oh 
almost forgot I did this. So I decided, um, Dina Wakely does a lot of scribble journaling, so I just decided to scribble journal all the way around all of the flowers. I thought that would make it more interesting. And I can't remember exactly what I wrote, and I did it so that it would be hard to read, if not impossible to read, because it's kind of, you know, personal journaling idea. And it's about why I'm afraid to say yes and what happens when I do say yes and why I should say yes. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of the point of that little scribbly stuff. So do you like the scribble journaling around the flowers? I kind of like it. Once I got the whole page done, I'm like, oh, I just bought some of her washi tape. I have to include some of her washi tape. <laughs> so it was a bit of an afterthought to add the washi tape. Um, so I just put a little bit around in a couple of spots. So here I pull out another one thinking I'm going to put that on and yeah, it doesn't really need it. Probably didn't need the other washi tape, but I wanted to use them. <laughs> so here's a couple of pictures of the finished piece. I hope you like it. I will try to remember to put links to the products in the description box below if you're interested and maybe a link to her Facebook group if you want to give it a try yourself. And if you liked my video, please hit like, feel free to share, comment, and if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.